Pretty sure I'm not supposed to try and pick any up. I can look in the punch. I haven't been, haven't been in here in a while. He doesn't have any cake. Damn it. He has a Dragon Ball, though. And the Ocarina of Tam. Mel? Hello? Mm. Welcome, Father Roy. When, when did you start talking? What the hell is wrong with you? You look dumber than ever. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a serious case of mercury poisoning. Yeah, that'd be it, wouldn't it? Wait a second. Did you drink the entire stash of mercury cola? The very last drop. The fridge broke, so I had to drink them all. But why? Do you want to die? Did you find out you have some kind of weird, incurable disease or something? What? I said, why have you given up on life, Mel? Uh, hello? Can I help you? Yes, uh, I'd like a can of mercury cola, please. Sure. Oh, wait a sec. I'm all out. Did I, did I drink them all? Okay, I'm gonna die for sure. I'm just so damn high, I don't really care. I don't really agree with this depiction of, I mean, if some stupid ass kid, and they would be stupid ass, make no mistake, if some stupid ass kid played this and said, Mercury can get you high, oh boy, okay, that, I mean, maybe you could have made the joke if, you, if the guy had like a plate full of pop brownies. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that for the record, but I mean, at least he wouldn't die then. I don't think you can help me in this condition. I'm out of here. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, so there was, like, no reason to do this, was there? I don't want to stick my hand <laughs> in there. That definitely makes no sense. Licking up cola makes no sense? Oh, okay. Looks like Mel drank all of his cans before they went off. So, there's nothing I can really do in here, besides look at all the references. It doesn't look like. No, but he doesn't really seem to care, so I'm just gonna try and do this. No, I'm not interested in it anymore. Okay, I don't even know why I came in here, honestly. But I was trying to find a cake, but apparently I didn't find any. <laughs> that guy has nothing better to do with his life on Monday morning. Just stand on, stand right outside the bank. Are you fired? I don't think that's a good idea. Last time I saw Phil, he was really happy. I want to hold on to that memory for a while. Besides, I don't have time to be delivering packages. I have to go find that four-eyed maniac before he blows up this whole town. Okay. Well, where else would I get a cake from? Maybe at Randall's apartment? I don't think there's cake there. I'm just trying to look everywhere I can think of. And I don't think I've been up in it. Well, maybe the Mar Mrs. Marconi would help me with the cake. I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Not really that I'm seeing. Maybe in his apartment. I don't think so. I mean, I can't go out the window anymore, I don't think, can I? Apparently, I can. Wait, 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 wait what? Did this thing just like, didn't it, like before, didn't it like fall down? And then I don't understand the world anymore. Uh, oh, well, there's a pie. Is that good enough? I guess we'll say that's good enough. Mmm, that smells good. Well, jump down. Or not. Does pe Do people actually do that anymore? Put the thing, like, outside of a windowsill? That just sounds like a terrible idea. I have never understood that trope or that, 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 that stereotype. I have never understood that. By the way, where'd that... Where'd, uh... Sally, go. I guess she's out doing stuff preparing for the wedding. <laughs> but yeah, who the hell leaves a pie outside? Especially in an alley like that. That's just asking for flies to eat the thing. Or rather not eat it, but just, just to... That doesn't sound very sanitary. At least to me. Then again, I don't even like eating outside, much less... I, hell, I don't even like being outside, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of saying that, though. People say I probably should be. I'm just an inside person. 
Anyway, I don't have a cake, but a pie will do, right? Well, that might work. But it's still missing something to be a real birthday pie. Oh, for gosh sake. Come on now. Mmm. I don't think that's going to work. No, no. Damn it. Yeah, I'll just stick this in there. I don't think that's... We need either candles or something or... I don't think we have any candles. I have no idea where I'd even find them anyway. Have I seen anybody with a candle? I don't think I have. I don't think Mel has any. He has a decent idea where to find candles, but I don't know. You know what? I say screw that pie. But not in the American pie way. Nothing to screw? Yeah, well, Jason Biggs would disagree with you. So, let's see here. That's a reference I've never made in my life, nor did I ever think I ever would make in my life. That was not a good movie. <laughs> Oh man, that's years and years ago. The funny, the worst part is that movie's like what, 15, 20 years old now? Good God, I remember that movie was new. Everybody in high school, everybody in school had to see that movie if you wanted to be cool, but nowadays it's like, ew, an old man movie. Let's see, I only watched the first one of the series, by the way, I didn't even like it. So what in the hell do I need to make that a real birthday pie? I'm, I'm... I'm thinking that she means some kind of like uh, candles, but I don't know. Hey, nice touch! Just what any good party needs. Will that do it? Well, that might work. Damn it! Okay, so where am I gonna find candles? I don't think there's anything like that in Charlie's comics, but since I'm here, I might as well look, right? I should take this off for. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I remembered that name. Like of all the names, let's see. I don't. I don't even know why he'd have anything that has fire in a in a place like this, but maybe he does. He looks really down. Okay, that was a stupid idea, but I had to try it. I mean, yeah, I don't really want to try and talk to those jackasses again unless I absolutely have to, but I don't think I do. I'm just missing something here. I cannot get into that apartment. I already tried. So... Did I miss something in Clayton's cave? I don't know. Maybe there's something at Emerson's that I just did not see. I mean, I haven't really done anything here worth a damn, so maybe. I mean, what is there here? And there's cones. No, I wouldn't. I just think I need to pick up traffic cones, right? I mean, that, that may, yeah, no, that makes sense. It only took me like three or four minutes, but still, that, that was unneeded time. But okay, um, I need to go back to the psychiatrist's office. Then maybe I missed something outside. I know I cannot pick the radio up. Plus you squared it. What the hell? Oh, Pixel Hunt, my thy name is my enemy. I guess they did throw that down in the cutscene, but still. It might sound a little disgusting, but a cigarette is a cigarette. I've smoked way worse things. Uh, no, you haven't. I guarantee that you haven't. <laughs> you know how I know? Because I used to smoke cigarettes. They're the worst thing you can smoke. I love when people try and go, but weed's worse than cigarettes. Uh, no, you ignorant ass, it isn't. I guarantee you it's not. Smoking anything is not good for your lungs, but I guarantee you taking all the poisons out is a hell of a lot better. Right, so... Why did I want the cone again? Yeah, no, just do this. Oh, is it supposed to be some kind of hat? I don't know. Hey, nice touch. Just what any good party needs. Did, um, okay, so I guess we're supposed to just, like, put it on him. I guess that makes sense. It makes as much sense as anything else. Hey, this actually reminds me of my 10th birthday. I didn't get a cake, but that's when I smoked my first cigarette. Ugh. What a great cake. 
All we need to do now is finish up with the decorations and we have a party. Perfect. I'll give it to him myself personally once I'm done with all the decorations. Aren't you done? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I think we're done. Don't even think about it. That's not what we agreed to and I don't want to disappoint Dr. Johnson. This office doesn't look like a party yet. Everything needs to be perfect. Well, what the hell else do you want from me, lady? Oh. Uh, yeah. There you go. Why didn't you take this earlier? Hey, nice touch. Just what any good party needs. Oh, right. You probably want me to put that in the other guy's mouth because... Why not? All right, yeah, let's just do that. Good job. Everything looks perfect. Okay, then. You may go and surprise him. Oh, yeah, because I'm sure the doctor went, oh, my gosh, the one guy who's in shock, he has a, bl a blower now. Yay! Like everything else. Yeah, that's what that's what makes it perfect. Yeah. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Good morning, Mr. Um... Lecter. Hannibal Lecter. Hey, don't give me that look. It's a very unfortunate coincidence. And uh, why did you throw that cake on the floor? Who cares about the cake? I care about the cake. Okay, well, maybe it would have been better to leave it on your desk. But I'm the kind of man who thinks fast but acts faster. Fine. So, what seems to be the problem? What? Just like that? No Rorschach test or anything? No, I've always believed it's just a waste of time with no empirical value whatsoever. Oh, well, I guess that's for the best. I'm one of those guys who only sees butterflies. Squashed butterflies. Would you mind telling me what the matter is, please? A cursed ring is ruining my life. Well, you need to comprehend that any inanimate object only has as much power over you as you choose to give it. Excuse me? Yes, it means that you are the one who's ruining your own life. But you claim it's the ring, right? Right. Well, I'm telling you. That if it wasn't a ring, it would be something else. No, it is the ring. Other stuff doesn't make me see my best friend die every day. Okay. Now that sounds like a real problem. Yeah. Anyway, it's not why I came here today. Why are you here then? Let's just say I'm here on behalf of a friend. Now, what do you mean by on behalf of a friend? Do you recall seeing a very drunk guy, kind of weird looking, who goes by the name of Matthew Griffin around here today? That's what you're here for? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to divulge that kind of information. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave, Mr. Uh, Lecter. No, wait, please! I'm desperate here. I don't know what else to do. Please help me. The, the monkey guy. You have some nerve coming back here. My name is Randall Hicks, and I find myself in a really difficult situation. A person's life is at stake, and you're the only one that can help me. You're the famous Randall Hicks? Well, that depends. What have you heard about him? Given the situation, I'm afraid I can't do anything but help you. Matthew Griffin came to see me today. He didn't have an appointment, but he managed to sneak in. I hate it. Yeah, some people, huh? So, I let him in. But he was so drunk, I couldn't understand a single word he said, except the last sentence. Yeah, come on, don't leave me hanging like this, Doc. Tell me what he said. He said he was going to get himself a gun, and then he was going to murder a man named Randall Hicks, the guy who ruined his life. What on earth did you tell me that for? You know, that's the last thing I would want to hear some doctor. I told you because I think it's dangerous to allow a man in his state to walk around with a loaded firearm. You have to find him. What if he has the gun already? Well, then I guess you'll have to improvise. Wow. Thanks for nothing. Now, one more thing, Mr. Hicks. Stealing a friend's girl. It's not right. Oh, why don't you butt out, you big know-it-all? Okay, so that's probably one of the worst case scenarios I ever could have come up with. <laughs> Where would he get a gun? 
my first thought, I don't think they sell these in pawn shops, by the way, but my first thought is a pawn shop, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be a pawn shop? He's probably not in here now, though, but I can try it. Have you seen a drunk, psychotic guy with glasses and an afro around? Hmm. I don't know. Talking about bucks. Great. Mel? Hello? Mm, hello. Can I help you? Uh, did anyone buy a weapon from you today? Yeah, I'm almost sure. Do you remember anyone in particular? Mm hmm Hello. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to buy a gun and shoot you with it. Yeah. Like that other guy. The other guy? Who? Can you tell me his name? I don't think so. He was in a hurry. Do you remember what he looked like? How should I know? You can't expect me to remember every drunk guy who buys a gun. Well, what if you get mugged? That's never happened before. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I get mugged all the time. No, never mind. Do you remember the wasted guy who bought the gun? The guy who bought the gun, goddammit. Who was he? Hey, give me a break, kid. I told you I have trouble remembering people's faces, especially when they're drunk. They all look the same. But if you refresh my memory a little, I don't know, if you had something to help me remember the face of the guy you're looking for, then I might be able to help you. Okay, or we could just, you know, do this. No, I'm not in. No, oh, yeah, no, you're only looking for the name of a guy. Why look at a thing that tells you the names of everybody that bought stuff? That's stupid, Randall. Okay, so... We don't have the map, we don't have the mask anymore, so... I, well, it's apparently been 40 minutes anyway, so I guess that's as good a time as any to end it here. But yeah, we've basically all but confirmed that Matt did, in fact, buy the gun to shoot us. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> So the objective now is to try not to get killed by a drunk, raving Matthew Griffin. And that's basically what we're trying to do here. So yeah. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. So, farewell uh, until then.